Hello and welcome. This time we want to talk about table of truth. Okay? We want to talk about the table of truth or the moment of truth? Let's talk about the moment of truth. It was 1994. And I just <laughs> maybe another time. Let's talk about the table of truth. Okay? So the table of truth shows us which Things need to be met that an output of a logic uh, circuit is one. Yeah? And I want to tell you or show you now, here I'm just preparing, I want to tell and show you now how to get from this table of truth uh, to the logic circuit, how this is working in principle. Okay? So let's have a look on my plain sheet here. Okay? Let's say we do have table of truth with two inputs. I have an input x1, I have an input x2, and I have one output, y. So here is 0, 1, 0, 1, 0, 0, 1, 1, and the output shall be true here, here not, here not, and it shall be true here. So this is actually the version of an equivalent. So, what things needs to be met that the output is true? Yeah. We are looking at it line by line. First line, the output is true. What needs to be met? Yeah. I need to have x1, not x1, must be 0, and not x2, must also be 0. Then, this is 1. Here is 0, nothing, here is 0, nothing, here is 1, so I need to have x1 and x2, then this is also 1. And if either this line or this line is met, then I have my y. So my y, my output, is this part, x1, not x1, and not x2, or this part, x1 and x2. Okay? This is actually the equation of the equivalent. And now how to transfer this into a logic circuit? Here. I will use the black color, maybe, for this common part. Here I have an x1. Here I have the second input, x2. I need here an AND. So one block. This is an AND. The inputs are inverted. And one input is x1. And the second input is x2. It's this part. Not x1 and not x2. Okay. Now, the second part, it's also an end. And this time I did no inversions. Okay. This time I just need x1 and x2. And the output of both, there must be an OR. So I need here, I need an OR. This is the output of this, the green, or the blue part, and this is Y. Okay. Table of truth, equation, logic circuit. That's it. I mean, it's easy, right? It's not that difficult. Let's maybe try another example. x1, x2, y, 0, 1, 0, 1, 0, 0, 1, 1, and this time we want to have it here and here and not here. Okay? Let's start again. Here is nothing. Here is not x1, and ah, here is x1 and not x2. Ok? 
Okay. And here we have not x1 and x2. And either this or this. So my y is x1 and not x2 or not x1 and x2. Let's transfer this into a circuit, logic circuit, x1, x2s, there must be an AND, this time only one input is inverted, so it's x1 and not x2, green part. Now let's have a look at the blue end, it's also an end. Also one input is inverted. And this is not x1 and x2. And these two are or or together. <laughs> or and this is y. This is why. <laughs> okay. I think you got the principle. Look at the lines, write the condition of the line, and every condition where the output shall be true needs to be or together. Yeah. And that's basically it. This is how to get from the table of truth to the logic equation and further to the circuit. Not too complicated, I hope. So, you see, there's not a real magic behind. It's just how it is. Next time, we're going to talk about uh, NAND and NOR technology. What is behind this? Yeah. For now, for this video, it was again a rather short video. Thank you very much for listening. Goodbye.